Inside the Savannah Agriculture Institute, Sari, scientists are hard at work in the final stages of what could revolutionize the farming of cowpea, one of Ghana's most popular staples. Current varieties of the crop usually get eaten by pests. One of the pests that is a major contributor to the excessive use of insecticides is the one we call the legume pod borer, scientifically known as Maruca vitrata which attacks the crop at the flowering stage and also when the pots are on. After screening all those over 15,000 cowpea materials, we couldn't identify anyone within what we call the cowpea gen plasm that could offer that resistance. So we had to opt for the genetic modification approach. Ghana's cowpea farmers lose more than half of their yearly harvest as a result of challenges with seeds threatening food security. This new variety could be a game changer for farmers of the crop, like Hakim, who was reeling from losses of his cowpea farm from the previous season. Last year, we farmed about six acres. And we were, the six acres, we were even expecting to get like 20 bucks. But because of the insects, we get like 10. In May 2024, Ghana's High Court threw out a case by activists against the introduction of GMO crops in the country. Some of them maintain the variety poses risk to farmers. The reason why they think this is good is because it's going to reduce the applications of dangerous chemicals. But the truth is happening in other countries. You go to Argentina, see where their lands have been burnt by glyphosate. The pink boll worm in India is resistant to GM cotton. So we don't believe that because they've genetically modified this cowpea, the Maruka pest is going to stay off the cowpea forever. Sari has now started the process of marketing the seeds commercially to farmers.